This is a video on how to make the capacitor housings for a Magrav. These are made from corrugated plastic, which is a rigid, inexpensive construction material. A paper pattern is printed out from a PDF file. A link to the file is in the video description. The pattern is cut out with scissors or a knife, then taped to the corrugated plastic with transparent tape. I gotta put another piece of tape on it here. So basically I just use scotch tape, uh, tape it down, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of cardboard down on the desk so I don't rip the desk up. <clears throat> and I like to use uh, one of these, it's a precision uh, knife, utility knife, and it's got a number 11 blade on there. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to cut these. Now there's these little notches in here in the pattern for where the the wires go from the capacitors and I'm not going to cut those out at this stage what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it out and assemble it and then after it's assembled I'm going to it's going to be easier for me to cut these notches out later so don't worry about those I like to make all my cuts going in one direction first then I'll flip it around and make the cuts in a different direction It cuts pretty easy, but it helps to have a nice sharp blade. It took me about 30 minutes to cut out all the parts. The parts can be assembled either with glue or with cable ties. First we'll look at using the glue. It's a special high heat glue that's good for up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, in this part of the video I'm going to talk about the glue that I'm going to use to put together these capacitor holders. Now this corrugated plastic, this, the material is polypropylene and polypropylene is notoriously hard to glue. And if you try to stick ordinary super glue, you know, use ordinary super glue to put these pieces together, it's not going to stick very well. It'll stick a little bit, but then it'll pull apart real easily. So uh, the glue that's, this is an industrial glue that I'm using. You can't buy this in a store. It's not a household glue, but it's basically the same uh, base. It's a cyanoacrylate glue, just like super glue, and it's instant setting. But the only difference is, is that we're going to be using a primer with this glue. Now, uh, this primer, it is a, it's for surface preparation. It changes the surface that makes this glue stick. That's basically it. So, it comes in this bottle, and you get this brush with it, and then it's kind of a big brush. So, what I did was I I poured some of the, the primer out of this bottle into the small bottle that has its own uh, brush with it, and it's going to be a lot easier to work with. Now, this particular glue is good for up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a high heat glue. And uh, I'm, planning, I'm planning to put a uh, thermal switch inside this Magrav, and it's uh, set to cut off the power at 167 degrees Fahrenheit. So, uh, theoretically, it should shut off, the Magrav should shut off before the glue fails. Now, I don't know if it's going to work, I don't know if it's safe, but I have a feeling it's going to work. So you got to keep that in mind when you do this. Make sure the parts are clean. Apply the primer to the surfaces of both parts wherever the glue will make contact. Allow 60 seconds to dry before applying the glue.
apply the glue to only one surface and join the parts together. The glue is instant setting but takes a full 24 hours to dry completely. The notches for the capacitor wires are cut after the glue has set for 24 hours. It's a lot easier to do this after this stuff is hardened because it's real rigid and it's easy to make the cuts. Alright, there it is. Next we'll look at how to assemble the parts without glue using cable ties. These are 2mm by 100mm cable ties. They are threaded through the open spaces as shown in these slides. Press down on the ends as shown to make them as flush as possible. The cable ties are pulled tight with long nose pliers and trimmed with cutting pliers. Just be careful not to cut the notches too deep or else the corners will be too weak. The capacitors are assembled onto the housings and secured in place with cable ties. Okay, this is a video showing the capacitor holders uh, in the, the, they're installed on the tray where they're going to go inside the mag wrap. It's very compact and it's arranged very simply and they are held in onto this corrugated plastic tray with these cable ties. You can see the cable ties going through here and here and they just go down through the cells, these lower cells down here. They're, they just thread through, they're very simple, 